In this tutorial, we will guide you on how to make moving shadows in Adobe After Effects. Here is the footage we will be working on for this tutorial. In order to create a moving shadow, we will first have to extract the object from the background. In this case, since we have a green screen backdrop, this will be very simple to do. For that, we will move to the Effects and Presets panel and search for the Key Light Video Effect. Once located, drag and drop the effect on the video layer. Next, we will move to the Effect Control Panel and pick up the Color Picker next to the Screen Color option. Over here, the Color Picker tool will capture the background color and remove it, so once you have picked up the tool, simply click on the background. Now let's move on to creating a shadow. First, we will duplicate the video layer. For that, we will select the video layer, move to the Edit menu, and click on the Duplicate option. Next, we will select the original layer, move to the Effects and Presets panel, and search for the Flip Video Effect. Once located, simply drag and drop the effect on the video layer. Next, we will move to the Effects and Presets panel once more and search for the Fill Video Effect. Once located, simply drag this effect to the original video layer as well. Next, we will move to the Fill Effect section in the Effect Control panel and replace the default red color with a solid black fill. Once done, we will change the position of this layer. The basic idea is that the object on this layer should be right beneath the object in the layer above. Next, we will move to the Effects and Presets panel once more and search for the Gaussian Blur Video effect. Once located, we will drag and drop the effect on the original layer. Next, we will configure the blurriness of the Gaussian Blur effect to 49.5. After that, let's reduce the opacity of the layer to 40%. Lastly, we will add a white solid layer. For that, right-click in the Layer panel, move to New, and click on the Solid option. Over here, you can open up the Color Picker window and choose white color for the fill. Once done, simply click on OK and drag the newly created solid layer at the bottom. Now let's render the sequence. And this is what the output looks like. You can see that we have successfully created a moving shadow in the clip. Thanks for watching. This was a howtech.tv tutorial.